Every great lesson starts with an idea. And now, Brisk helps you turn that idea into a full set of connected classroom materials in seconds. Brisk generates lesson plans, learning activities, exit tickets, and so much more, all built around the resource you choose. And with bundles from the Brisk extension, you can also create multiple materials at once. You can choose what you need, maybe a presentation, a podcast, and guided notes. And Brisk keeps everything aligned to the same topic. Let's check it out. On my screen, you'll see a web article. You'll also see the Brisk B. I'm going to go ahead and click the Brisk B to open the extension. From here, you'll see that I can go right up to Create. Now, once I click Create, I can choose one resource at a time, or I can also select more than one. So in this case, I do want to create a podcast, I'd like a presentation, and also those guided notes. Now I'm going to go over and click Next. Now you'll see here that you can add in your prompt, you can customize this for your own unique students, you can translate to over 55 languages, and of course you can attach learning standards, adjust grade level, and so much more. So this one is specific for the podcast. Once I click next, it will take me to the prompt for my presentation. Now this one I am going to go ahead and customize. All right, I've added a prompt in and I'm gonna click next again. Since I have a presentation, I'll also be able to select my template. Now we have our guided notes. Again, we can go through and make any adjustments we want. We are now ready to brisk it. Now, right from the brisk extension, I was able to create a bundle of instructional materials for my students. From here, I can always go up to share. I can send this link to my students. I can use our learning management system. I can always share a template with colleagues too. I love that I also have the option to add more. So if I wanna add a chat or upload a file or anything from my Google Drive or even a link to a site, I can do that too. You can also preview what this looks like for when you share it with your students. Right away, you'll notice the presentation opens first. If I come over to the left-hand side, I can toggle through each of the activities so that I can preview. Remember that in Brisk, everything is 100% customizable. I love that if I come over here, I can also click the three dots. I can choose to hide this from students or even turn on editing mode. So this is a great way that I can build instructional materials and share directly with my students. Returning to my web article, I can also go back to the Brisk extension and I can choose to change level. Now in this case, I'll be able to change the level of this web article for my students and I can select up to three. So maybe I want this in third grade, sixth grade, and also fifth grade. And additionally, maybe I want to translate it into multiple languages. Perhaps in this case, I want Canadian French. Maybe I also want to include Chinese and I'll leave English in there as well. Now we'll go ahead and change reading level. Now what you're going to see here is that Brisk will now create my resources for my students. So everything will be differentiated in just a click. Brisk has finished leveling and translating my resource. You'll see here that I do have third grade, fifth grade, and sixth grade, and I have different versions. I have English, Canadian French, and Chinese. Now notice with this, I can choose to open, so if I want to preview any of these, I can do that. Let's go to this one and check it out. You'll see in your resource that you do have the original link and image and everything is fully translated. From here, you can always go up and share, so you'll have access to the link or again, sharing the template with your colleagues, but I also love that you can share these individually. So if you only wanna share with a handful of students, you can do that also. There are countless ways we can create instructional materials using Brisk. I'm now gonna come back to the Brisk extension. Now down below, you'll see that if you're looking for next level teaching ideas, you can simply input your own prompt. In this case, it says, give me ideas based on this web page. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna come on over, I'm gonna click the arrow. Brisk has now generated instructional materials for me right within Brisk Next. Brisk Next is our AI hub on the web that anticipates what we need next for teaching and learning. You'll see that I also have a chat on the right hand side to refine recommendations. Now I can scroll on down and I'll see categories such as resources to prepare my students, engage, and also assess. I can always come up to any of these resources, and if I click the pen to edit, I'll be able to come in and customize my prompt, change grade level, or translate. Now, if I click Create, that's going to open my resource so I can preview. Let's check it out. You'll see that I have a full podcast here. I can scroll through, I can listen, and of course, everything is editable. I love that I can create a bundle of resources from the Brisk extension and also from Brisk Next. Let me show you. I can come on over and click Add to Bundle. So any of these that I wanna include, I'll click Add to Bundle. They're going to appear here up at the top. 
All right, let's come on down. I'm also going to select a character chat. And let's see, we'll also just incorporate a quiz too. Now, if I come on up, you'll be able to see my entire bundle here. And now if I go to create, it's going to create my entire instructional bundle of materials for my students. Brisk has generated my bundle of resources. I can always come up and click share. I can choose how I want to share. I can always add new. So if I want to incorporate additional resources to this bundle, I can do that. And of course, as always, you can go in and preview exactly what this bundle looks like. Once in your bundle, you can always click on through each of the resources and you can choose how you want your students to access, whether you hide it or turn on editing mode. Up at the top, you'll also see learning objectives. You can click through and review those too. I'm also going to showcase how you can create instructional materials right from Brisk Next. If I click the Brisk extension and then I select the home icon, this will take me directly to Brisk Next. Brisk Next is really our AI hub on the web that will anticipate what teachers and students need next. I'm going to come in and I'm going to enter my prompt. I've entered my prompt and remember, you can always upload files or photos, you can attach from your Google Drive, you can always attach learning standards, you can translate as well, change grade level, and you can also choose your document provider. So Brisk really does provide so much flexibility when it comes to teaching and learning. From here, I'm going to click the arrow. Once again, Brisk has gone ahead and generated all of my instructional materials. Remember that from here, I can always refine using the chat. I can also come in, edit prompts, I can customize anything I'd like, build a bundle, and then share however I'd like with my colleagues or with students. Today we explored all of the different ways we can create instructional materials right from the Brisk extension. You can go to Create and select multiple resources at a time. You can also translate and adjust reading level under Create as well. You can also go directly to change level. With change level, you can always translate to three different languages and also adjust reading level to three different reading levels. And down below, if you're looking for next level teaching ideas, enter your prompt and you'll be able to click the arrow and that'll take you right to Brisk Next and it will generate all of your resources to prepare, engage, and assess student learning. And lastly, if you're looking to go directly to Brisk Next, you can always click that home icon. Whether you're using tools from the extension or going directly to Brisk Next, Brisk keeps your materials cohesive, editable, and ready to teach, all without switching tools or starting over. I would love to hear what your favorite way is to create instructional materials with Brisk Teaching. Let us know, and we can't wait to hear how it goes.